and thanks again for joining us here at the Investors Coliseum for another featured company update. This week, we're going to be talking to Catherine Stretch, Vice President of Corporate Affairs at Troilus Gold. This week, we'll be continuing our conversation with regards to environmental and social governance and the strides that Troilus Gold has been making here in the interim in becoming a leader in the mining industry with regards to ESG. And Catherine, thanks so much for being here. It's so great to see you again, and um, glad to have you here to continue the conversation around ESG and what it means to you folks at Troilus. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. So I guess we'll start out with uh, ESG in general. It is uh, of late, uh, actually for the last number of years, it has been um, a, a real point of conversation. And uh, who better to give us uh, some, some insight and some wisdom as to how this has been progressing from the mining side than, than yourself and maybe take us back with uh, the impact that it's had on mining and, and Troilus. Yeah, Chris, I mean, we see increasingly in the mining sector that ESG has become extremely important. Um, and in, in the past, you know, the mining sector has had a bad rap for, for not considering um, all of the environmental, social and governance components in their development. But it, I think what we find increasingly is that a lot of this is going on behind the scenes. Um, they, they, we understand when we're operating in mining, often in some remote jurisdictions, that the impact on local communities, on the environment can be immense. Um, but we see increasingly that investors want to know what we're doing with regards to ESG. Um, st other stakeholders, local communities, NGOs, governments want to know what we're doing with regards to ESG. And really, we need to consider it. It's not just about making money. It's not just about extracting minerals. It's about making sure that the the, the things that we are doing, um, which could have impacts for decades to come, they, they could be multi-generational, that, that the things we're doing, the decisions we're making right now are, are being made in the context of all of our stakeholders. So, so what does that mean for, for the local environment? What does it mean for local communities? All these things need to go into our decision making and, and we need to be very forward thinking. Um, our shareholders demand it, our, our regulators demand it, and, and we ourselves as management of mining companies, we should be thinking about not just, uh, you know, making money for shareholders, but having a very positive impact um, in, in the regions that we operate. Catherine, one of the things that stands out is the fact that uh, this was a pre-existing operation, mining operation, many moons ago. Uh, it's on its way to becoming uh, an operational mine now in the very near future, with any luck. And what we want to know is, what are some of the specifics that have been put into place? Have things been learned from the past in regards to what actually needs to be done to enhance uh, ESG protocols? Yeah, that's a good question, Chris. And, and it, it, Troilus is an interesting case because it was an operating mine and it, oper it was operated by Inmet from 1996 to, until 2010. Um, our, our local First Nations partner, the Cree Nation of Mississippi, it was the first impact and benefits agreement that, that they signed and provided the foundation for Mississippi really to um, move forward. It, it became a, a growing town and has continued to grow um, there were a number of businesses created, skills developed, that even after the mine closed, Miss Disney has continued to grow and develop. So we have this legacy uh, of this great, you know, kind of community relationship, um, a legacy of, of good business. And, and so our stakeholders in the region, you know, they, they see that as the foundation of what can be built upon. Um, now we're in the exploration and development stage as, you know, as we continue to um, find new gold and look for uh, expanding that to, for a future where we will be reopening the mine and, and restarting production. So, you know, we have to take that history and we have to build upon it. We have to think about, um, you know, ways we can incorporate that into um, moving forward. We're not in production yet. So we, so we don't have massive resources um, to, to address ESG um, the way the big companies would, you know, they, they'd have entire departments to do that. But but we try and think about in everything we do, um, you know, how we incorporate the views of um, the local community. We have community consultations, how we communicate with them uh, about what we're doing. So we have community newsletters, we use social media, we have visits, um, you know, with leadership in the community. 
Um, and, and then also making sure that we're we're incorporating local businesses so, so that um, the money we spend is not leaving the region. It's, it's actually helping to build the local economy in Shibugamu and in Mississippi. So these are all decisions that we make every day. And, and, and as we move forward, um, you know, we will continue to think about these things to make sure that, that we have a mind that in the future will have a big impact on, on the local region. Catherine, is, is there anything specific um, in regards to how things are being operated right now from a mechanical point of view? I understand that there are a lot of things that could have environmental impact from just the mechanics of all the machinery being used in these processes. Is there anything that's been done as of late uh, to help curb those uh, environmental impacts? Yeah, Chris, um, th there is actually, you know, this is a good example of, of how, you know, we're, we're always trying to think about what, what, what can we do differently that will have a positive impact. So right now we're drilling, we, we have been drilling uh, aggressively since October. Uh, we're moving the drills sometimes into sensitive natural areas. Um, so one change we've made uh, for this drill program is we've introduced the use of biodegradable lubricants for the drills. Now, this makes the drilling a little bit more expensive, um, and we had to work with our drill company to, to you know, change how things were done. They were very receptive to that. But in the long run, we think this is, this is part of our ESG commitment, is that we are making choices that are good for the environment um, that, that we are working in and, and will minimize the environmental footprint over the long term. Well, Catherine, thanks again for answering our questions and talking to us a little bit more about ESG and what it means to Troilus Gold and mining. And we're going to look forward to having you back a few more times to talk about this. I, I suspect that this topic is not going away anytime soon. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I, I, definitely. It's very important to us at Troilus and, and we try to think about it in everything we do. So we certainly appreciate the opportunity to talk to you and, and, and let people know about the initiatives we're, we're taking at Troilus. Wonderful. Thanks again, Catherine. We'll chat soon. Thanks, Chris.